Hello and welcome back to Postal 2. We are still in Tuesday and we still have a couple of things to do before we can go back to our beautiful and loving wife. But most excitingly of all, we are here to get a celebrity autograph in the mail. We are here, of course, to see legendary Gary Coleman. He has arisen from the grave. He has escaped the icy cold clutches of death. So brilliant. And we even get to get his autograph. That is so amazing. And there's no queue everything is coming up roses so we're gonna wait patiently in the queue for a little bit and we are gonna get his autograph how brilliant is that i am so stoked for this the guy is an all-time personal hero of mine and here we go we should be momentarily taking his autograph i'm so stoked hey hello mr coleman i love facts of life you ever do that leather tuscadero chick here you go it's for my mother i swear yeah, sure it is. If I see you selling this on eBay, I will come to your house and kick your narrow ass. I would never do such a thing. Close enough. Get down or I'll put you down. This is the police. Send out the former child actor. We have a warrant for his arrest. Go back to the donut convention. I ain't going nowhere. We're serious. Send Gary out now and nobody gets hurt. Lieutenant Grossman tried to warn us. I'm not going to the joint. Uh-oh, it looks like Gary Coleman and the police are having a small altercation. But who will win this celebrity deathmatch except for none of the policemen are celebrities i don't think so unless the guys who beat rodney kin are here i don't think they probably are i suspect hopefully hopefully they are in jail themselves and let's just watch this tactical strikes that gary coleman killing his own supporters there brilliant uh i'm just gonna hang around a little bit and see if i can collect some of these goodies without alerting the cops because they seem to get a bit narky with me when I pick up weapons for some reason. I mean they're just lying on the ground. I mean why would you do that? They're just there for the picking. No one else is going to pick them up and uh, oh my god just an incredible tactical move from Gary there. He took out two police with one grenade. It is incredible. You could almost say that's exactly what grenades were designed for but anyway he is doing so well in this fight. I don't think I've ever seen him do so well in my entire life. He might actually win. Can you believe it? I think he is going to win. Uh oh, they seem to have reached something of an impasse. Neither of them knows which to do. And have they reached... Th that guy is killing his own cops. I can't believe it. This is such an incredible turn of events. Uh oh, look out for that grenade. Poor shot from Gary there. And we're just waiting to see who will be the final victor here. Gary, probably not in such great shape here, although he is murdering these police at a rate of knots. Something of a Mexican standoff there. I think he's won. I can't believe it. Congratulations, Gary. You are the victor. Right here. Excellent. Ow! You bastard! Now you can die! Ha 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 ha! Do some. Oh, I just did your job for you. Get the hell out of here. Right. Off we go. No time to waste. It's time to go to the library. And where, where is the way out? I think it's up these stairs. Just one thing before we go. The future of fashion. Excellent. That bodes well for me in the future. And uh, yes, where is the exit? It is here. Excellent. So on we go to the library. And on we go. Oh no, but we still have a police wanted. I'm just going to rock past that policeman there. He's not impressed. He is not impressed indeed. He wants to take us into custody, but we are not going to hell out of the Hammond, and we have a excellent level transition to save us. But before we do that, I'm just going to have a quick look at this before he arrests me. That's cool. Let's go. I won't. And on we go to the library. Uh, I can't be bothered to take any cats because I am wanted by the police. We're just going to make a quick exit. We're going to make a sharp exit. Uh, yes, on we go. We're going to do our best not to get lost either because it's quite easy to just go up that way and just end up in some guy's back garden. And then who knows what might happen. We might have to do another impromptu home invasion. And I know the Homeowners Association is not going to like that. But we are doing excellent. We are evading the police. Uh, I think I'm just going to do this first. Take that car. Uh-oh, I seem to be in quite a lot of pain there. Here we go. And I only have two of my proverbial health points lacked, so I'm going to smoke a pipe. 
and we're all good again. This Benef- can't be good benefits for me, but I feel of great. smoking tobacco. And oh god, I just wish my wanted level would go down a bit quicker. But we're going to take the sneaky back route here. We're not going to get put, caught by the police. Not this day. Not this day, my friends. And another level transition. Ah, the lucky Ganesh. Such happy memories. I remember when we bought some milk there. It seems like it was only yesterday or even the day before that. Go away! I'm not interested in being arrested by you today. It's just not going to happen. Is there anything behind here? There isn't. What a surprise. There are one or two little things tricked away ever so often. This woman's eyeballed us, but goodbye. I'm not stopping for anyone. I've got to hand this book back. I don't want to be hit by any extortionate library fines. I mean, they might charge me a dollar or something. And I simply cannot afford that. I mean, what have we got in our inventory at the moment? $395. I need them all. I need them all for cats. Oh, I missed the opportunity there. Terrible. This is the library from Joseph R. McCarthy. I don't know who that is. Uh, I'm going to use the magic of post-editing to put some text up here to explain who he is. And on we go. And here we are in this beautiful ornate stone library i guess i mean god this must be worth millions this is probably dating back from the prehistoric era or something <laughs> i don't know a lot about architecture despite the fact that that's the field i work in and look there's some more protesters here let's check out what they're doing hitler did write a book it was called uh, mein kampf and it's one of my personal favorites only kidding i don't think hitler was a good man at all i just enjoy his literature now uh we better go and find our way to the place where we would hand in a book i guess uh where do i sign say fiction that is not where we're going to hand in a book uh, continuing on. Hello, officer. I see you've forgotten about my crimes already. Science fiction. That's not what we want either. Uh, looking still. Looking still. Parafiction. Is that like paranormal fiction or like fiction sort of ish? Ishy fiction? I don't know. And and some more parafiction. That is getting rather tiresome. Uh, Semi fiction. So it's like part lies, I guess. Uh, probably quite like my commentary. Uh, uh, subversive. Mm. Oh, don't mean to whip my gun out in the library. That is not. Uh, that is something of a social faux pas. I feel in this modern age, and all these people are going somewhere. I mean, this is a really popular library. I mean, the libraries I go into, there's like one old person there who's just there to use the internet because God knows they couldn't possibly pay for it themselves. Um, uh, sorry, officer. I'm in a hurry. Uh, and I'm also getting horrendously lost. What have we got? Some more non-fiction. Non-fiction. And we've gone in a big circle, so that means that the place where we hand in library books must be behind us. How could we have got that wrong? Excuse me, officer, I just have not got time for your bullshit. Okay, done. I'll explain that break later, and oh my god, look at the queue. I mean, no wonder the public services are going down the toilet, but I spot in the background there a drop box. Could that mean we can just chuck this book in there and be on our way? Let's check it out. Maybe I should keep that. Whoops. <laughs> Better late than never. I hope the bitch appreciates the trouble I went to. Time to head home. That's not a nice way to talk about your wife. Finally, it's about time you showed up. Sorry I'm late. Somebody blew up my car. Whoops. Let's burn some books. And those guys extolling the virtues of burning books there. I don't think it's a good thing, personally. I think there's nothing worse than a wasted book. Now, let's get on our way and see what horrors await us. Oh, no. She doesn't look friendly. In fact, she's fired the first shot. That means I am just fighting murdering her. And done. Excellent. Perfect. Now, let's see if we can find our way out of this hellhole. These stairs look good. Oh, this mist is, does not bode well for us. quite why you would stand in a library while it's burning all around you trying to shoot me I don't know I mean what can benefits this I've not exactly been here extolling the virtues of books against these protesters I mean I don't quite know why they don't like books anyway have some scissors these scissors are fucking useless right have I got any more bullet based weapons instead yes I have sorted her right out let's see if we can get hit over here without burning alive or getting crushed by falling masonry oh 
oh god, there's just a horrendous amount of people in this library as it burns around them because they have no uh, caring for their own welfare. But then they are pretty stupid, so he's just going to run into the flames hopefully. Oh, he's got some goodies. Can I pick him up by dying in slow? Yes, I can. Excellent. And on we go. Uh, finding the best way out of this burning building. Oh, God. Okay, that sort that out for us. Excellent. Uh, can I pick this up? Yes, thank you very much, game. Uh, what's in here? A man in a white suit. I'm not going to make any comment on his race or, en race or ethnicity. If that would not be polite. And on we go. How do I get past this bit? This is not what you'd call the friendly. Oh, things are happening. Uh, can I climb on here? Yes, I probably can. Here we go. On our way. We are problem solving. This is what uh, counts for a puzzle in this game. And I've fallen down there, but I haven't burnt alive. That is the main thing. No, this is all going horribly wrong. Oh, oh well, looks like I was just wasting my time there anyway. I am a bit afraid of these flames because they are literally instant death if I even so much as graze them. And excuse me, uh, uniformed protesters. Not something you see every day. I mean, these, these, these guys have really put the effort in. They've really made an effort to have a uniform and um, burn a library down, I guess. I mean, you know, I don't agree with their politics, but I support their right to believe in it, although I do not support their right to burn books and libraries and me, because I need my limbs and body in working order so I can operate this shotgun. And you are dead, sir. And on we go. Whoops. Ouch. Oh, look, only took her five health, so that's a good thing. Oh, I, I've already had enough of fighting you. I'm just going to try and make my way out of this burning building as quick as I can. I'm surprised I've not become overcome by the, fu the fog and the smume fumes, fumes, the smoke. Smoke is very bad in fires. I, it's bad for you. Don't breathe it. Man, gonna stop On I go. Excuse me, madam. And we are at the library. We survived another horrendous encounter. Nor on you. Can we all just get along? Guess not. I better N watch out for those guys from now on. We better do. Easily identified by their yellow t-shirts. Thank God they never wear anything else. Coleman's autograph, I can get a small fortune for it on eBay. <laughs> right, a small fortune. Say, aren't those things more valuable after the person is, uh, deceased? Yes, why? Uh, no reason. Can I borrow your computer? Okay, well that has been Tuesday for us. Thank you ever so much for watching. Tune in next time for more Postal 2 coming soon.